Hi everyone, it's Kim here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a planetary return. This is going to be really handy if you don't have Matrix software or Solar Fire software or some of the other top brands that can do it with just a couple clicks. Still, you're not limited. Let's do a Mars return, for example. I have a chart right here, and we can see right away that Mars is at 1 degree Virgo 59. That's not enough information. We're going to need that right down to the second. So I'm going to scroll down and find the exact degrees. We've got 1 degree Virgo 59. Three. That's the figure we're going to use. The next thing we're going to do is go to the online ephemeris. This is my favorite one. We're going to type in Mars. I know already that Mars is going to be in Virgo about mid-September, so I'm just going to go 15 September 2015 and get ephemeris. As I scroll down, I can see Mars goes into Virgo on the 25th. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in the 25th, and instead of days, I'm going to make it hours and I'm going to give us a good long list, a <laughs> hundred lines, and tell it again, get ephemeris. And remember, we are after 0 Virgo 59 3, and that is going to be September 26th, and that's UT. Next, I'm going to go to astro.com, and from here, I can click on My Astro, and I'm going to create new astro data. This is going to be like creating a birth chart. I'm going to call this Mars Return. We're going to make it male. And I'm going to start it out on the 27th of September because I know that was universal time, and I'm just going to do it for midday to get a look at where we're at. We make that USA and I can scroll down to that chart and the first thing I'm going to do is just take a look in extended chart selection because that's very easy to edit from. And I'm just going to click here to show the chart. I'm not going to add anything fancy to it yet. I just want to see where that Mars is. I look up here and I see, oh, not yet because we're looking for 159. And I see here it's 1 Virgo 3936. So I'm going to fast forward about 12 hours. And I do that by going to Edit Data for Mars Return. And here, I'm just going to make this midnight on the 28th, because Mars is moving pretty slowly at that time. So let's see where we're at. You have to just have a play with this for a bit to see how close you can get. Okay, so Mars is 1 Virgo 5821. We're getting close. We've got to have it forward a bit more, not much. So I'm going to inch this forward 30 minutes, see where we're at. And it's looking pretty close, 159, but we got to check those seconds. Oops, 159.8. <laughs> so we overshot the mark by a tiny bit. Let's go back and let's just try 27. Remember, we're shooting for 159.3 and it's 159. What's the exact? 159.3. And there it is. We can click on it, and there's the Mars return. We can right-click, save this image to the desktop, and we've got it to read later. All right, everybody, those are the basic steps. You're going to choose a planet to return. Find the general ballpark time that it's going to clock over to the exact degree of the birth chart. Go to astro.com, create a birth chart for that time, and edit forward and backwards until you find the exact hours, minutes, and seconds. And when you do, that chart is the planetary return chart of your choice. Okay, that's your hack to get in there and create those planetary returns. Thanks for dropping in. Bye.